from the functions palette you can select select the bi if the text is visible or if you have disabled the text and you are showing only the icons then you can click this icon so click select a vi a dialog box will launch either double click the vi to place it on the block diagram or you can drag the vi to your block diagram to place it use the same technique for custom controls type definitions and global variables also you can drag pictures from explorer windows explorer to your block diagram or your front panel also if you have application that supports dragging and dropping you can also drag and drop text from that application to lab view copy and paste to block diagram or front panel you cannot release the object until lab view highlights the destination as you can see from the highlighted block diagram but you can cancel it by pressing escape you can also drag and drop front panel objects onto the block diagram and they appear as constants if you have a path constant and you drag a vi into it labview places the path to that vi into the constant and same happens with the path control on the front panel if you drag and drop labview will fill the path constant path control with the path to the vi you can drag the icon of a vi onto the block diagram of another vi to use it as a sub vi but if you drag the icon of a vi while pressing the shift key lab view adds as constants any non default values that have been set on that vi's front panel if you update the values default values change them and you redrag the vi while pressing shift key 
onto the block diagram of another VI and release it there. LabVIEW updates, changes the value back to their default values coming from the original VI. If your VI has controls, you have changed them to controls and even if you change the default values if now you drag the sub VI's icon while pressing shift key onto the main VI's block diagram then what LabVIEW does is that it does not disconnect the control that's already present neither changes its uh, value to a default value coming from the sub VI while the constant value is placed on the block diagram but not connected to the input. You can also drag and drop global variables and custom controls onto the block diagram and the front panel. If you have a VI roughnum on your front panel, you can also drag a VI onto it so that its connector pane shows and now you can use this roughnum to programmatically call the VI dynamically while passing it values. If you select an object and drag it to the boundary of the VI, the VI starts to scroll. You can increase the speed of scrolling if you hold down shift key while you are scrolling. Not only can you drag the names of VIs onto the path control and constants to fill them up, you can also drag and drop the names files onto the path controls and path constants to any window VI and the same rule applies. The path is filled automatically inside that constant or control. If you have a picture ring control on your front panel, you can drag a graphic from Windows Explorer into it as well as on the front panel and on the block diagram as well and you can also do the, do, do the same with the VI icon You can also drag custom controls onto the front panel to place them there.